intelligent designer, calculating mathematically. Most of the scientific community does not accept intelligent designer. Usually the big problem is in the bias to the theme. Usually the scientific community determines that those who accept intelligent designer are people who do not know science, logically a factor of prejudice. In other words, to go against the intelligent designer the person should talk about where the problem is in the questioning of the intelligent designer and not in the attack on the individual. Normally for a group of scientists who are opposed to the intelligent designer, it seeks to analyze the specificity of its analysis, while usually the ID, seek a broad view of the events. For example a biologist will define his study by the specific view, when compared by the mathematical system, and cosmological defines only do not accept to analyze such factors and stay in the specific view. Usually the most important factor of a proof is the mathematical factor. Usually a biologist analyzes mathematically from his theoretical concepts but not in relation to a purely mathematical function. Intelligent designer and its foundations are tied to a pure mathematical foundation. The whole issue of ID is not the existence of a god, as many say. But the ID is based on the foundation of pure mathematics, led to its conceptualization in nature, or in cosmology. For example, in order not to have ID it is not necessary to have absolute truth, the point is that in pure mathematics, it is impossible not to exist the absolute truth. A simple test is that if it falls short of saying that there is no absolute truth, this speech automatically defines an absolute truth, which violates what was said and thus makes it impossible for there to be no absolute truth. That is, mathematically speaking, reason is bound to absolute truth. Now if you take this concept normally scientists tend to ignore this concept, since from this point the initial foundation of the idea is already beaconed. For example, what is the probability that the universe that exists exists by random factors? In analyzing the physical foundations of cosmology, we would have by the rule of probabilities that the universe does not exist. Now if the universe by random factors does not exist, and we exist, then the universe does not exist by random factors. Now if by mathematical factors we prove that the universe does not exist in a random way, what do scientists usually do? Usually they ignore and do not want to talk about it anymore. Another factor would be to analyze mathematically the forms of chromosomal variations to form the diversity of animals, analyzing by the current rate of chromosomal variability. Let's explain. If we calculate the rate of chromosome variability in a period for example two years, and try to calculate the possibility of the diversity and formation of the chromosomes, the answer of this calculation would be that it would not be possible to exist current variability, by the time it is said that life exists in Earth, by evolution. For example taking 6,000 years from the dating of modern man what rate of evolution to form a human evolution in the rate of formation of the evolution of a primate and becoming a homo sapiens. Let's draw a picture of what we're talking about. Imagine that we take all the men that existed and exist in a group. For example 30 billion individuals. In 30 billion individuals what rate of emergence of an evolved being, who has the ability to destroy all its predecessors? That is, we would have to define that the supposed Neanderthal man had more than 30 billion individuals from his appearance to form a Homo sapiens, 
and that he had the capacity to destroy an entire species that generated 30 billion Neanderthal men until there was not one. Now imagine that to form an evolved being would require 30 billion of a species, would there be enough species of the same kind to generate evolution? See that we are not analyzing God, or religion, is merely cold mathematical calculation. The simple logic of numbers. Now if the numbers are wrong the logic is wrong and if the logic is wrong there are no rational beings, so there is no science. In other words, the acceptance of the fundamentals only determines the non-existence of the things that are based on it. And reason is the most basic foundation. And reason is founded on logic, and logic is synonymous with mathematics. That is why scientists who do not accept the intelligent designer do not want to talk about it because they do not have convincing answers that can fit the cosmological logic, or the generation of information contained in the chromosomes.